vibing. Big office, so so a holla. Fun boy, Chris, good day to us. You know they lose much, got your love. My name is Sansonia. I know my rights, can't tell me what is right. Even if I'm wrong, I am still right. Other men game, feminists are bright. Can't wait for you, yeah, things they happen. Big office, so so a holla. I want to put that with no formula. Hello, hello, uncle. Yeah, it's what's up? What's up? What's going on with that? Chris. Yeah, John. How are you? I'm good. Though. I called you about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Today is Friday. That was I was finishing, you know, somewhere before three o'clock. Okay, let me go straight to the point. Okay. You know, you are one person since you got into this organization. I always motivate you to put up your best, you know, so that you can excel at your job. True or false? Perfectly said. Now let me take you down memory lane. Yeah. When you got employed, mm -hmm. when we hired you, I gave you the conditions of employment, didn't I? Awesome. Yeah. I sent it to you via email mm -hmm. and I gave you a hard copy as well. Sure. Did you reach everything oh, in the conditions of employment? Yes. So you know the do's and don'ts of working in this organization. I'm well aware. In the conditions of employment, you know, sexual harassment is a no-no. It calls for straight dismissal. Like when someone complains about you that you're harassing them sexually. No, no I'm... I'm Relax. Okay. Right? You know the repercussion of yeah. sexual harassment being levied against you. You know, right? Okay. I'm coming. Chris, I'm coming. A whistleblower complained about you. That you've been harassing them. I'm not going to disclose the identity of the person. So management asked me to speak with you. We just gave you best worker of the year. We can't just dismiss you, but we can warn you. Do you have anything to say with regards to that? Uh, right now, people are just bringing this things around like a football party. That is not why we are here, Richard. You have, you have said someone has blown the whistle that I'm harassing somebody. Mm -hmm. But you have not asked to hear my part of the story. That's why I've called you. But you said levied, levied allegations against me. Yes. So there are allegations. That's why I've called you. I'm, okay, I'm equally levying allegations against the whistleblower. That whoever, uh, he or she or they or them or whoever is, they are also harassing me sexually. So you mean whatever they said is false? There is no truth to it. Teacher, I mean, yeah, you are you the way we did? Ah, why would I do that? I need to work. Do my work and go home. After all, it's not everybody I am cool with like that here. So maybe if I'm not so cool with you, I decide that you want more. Well, I, sometimes I throw in some compliments here and hey, you're looking nice. So, or, you know, one of the, if they want to interpret it as harassment, fine. Then that's it. But that is the highest form of harassment that me, I can you know, immediately recall. Aside that, zero. Chris, this is just a warning. Oh. And I'm going to type the warning letter. This should be the last time I hear of any complaint whatsoever about you. Aisha, if you hear of complaint, you should also hear my, my part of the story. I've just heard your part of the story. Yeah, so if you hear the complaint, you hear it before you decide. That's how it is done. Oh. I've heard your part uh, of the story, Chris. She, she say, he says, or oh, no be so. Like I said, I only called you to advise you. So I'll type your warning letter and I'll call you later and give it to you for you to sign. I'll scan it and send it to management. Right? Are we on the same level now? Yes, we are. All right, thank you. Sorry, this matter, I need to speak to my 
Somebody has got to blow this in. And I am harassing you. Tell you, they wear this, uh, whoever did they take this harassment thing like in a joke, you know they sit down with me at all. I mean, I don't wake up in the morning and come to work and see somebody and want to stress the person. If I give you eye, you give me eye. What is harassment about that? I think that it's, it's high time I, I do some introspection and go back to understand what it means to sexually harass people. Because right now, I hear if you wink self, they say be harassed. If you say hello, you don't say the hello well self, it's harassment. If you say you are beautiful, don't say it well too, it's harassment. I think I've learned my lesson. Mm. Right now, if I come there, my face will be like shit. Can 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 smell it. If I pass, I go, I go, I do my work, I'm done. No, no friends, no hello, no hi, they are done. But Charlie, I am not there, no, no. The people who wrote the dictionary should go and rewrite what you need by sexual harassment for this one. Charlie, I'm going to pass on this here. It's giving preferably some of I can't even whistle. But I'm whistling. <laughs> Next time again. Work out there. What's what? Hey, hey! I wonder what they talked about. Hmm? I just wonder. I should have come close, then maybe I'll come and pass or something. You're always there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris. I whistled, I whistled. Hey. I talked, I talked. This time again, won't come and try me. And then, and then, and then, and then, you, Chris, you that, hey. Yeah, this, this is a guy that Miss Bell saw and said, hey, I'll be 60. Yes. Small, small, yes. It is not small girls, big, big girls. A woman. I'm glad I whistled. <laughs> Wait. If you hear it is the happy, if you hear it is the happy, big office, so so a holla, fun boy, Chris, good night to us, you know they lose much, got your.